To install the faucet adapter, all you need is an adjustable crescent wrench and possibly some Teflon tape. I didn't actually need to use the Teflon tape for this install, but it's good to have some around in case you need some. This is what the machine sounds and looks like when it's on its drain cycle. The water comes out at a pretty high rate of flow. And in this case, the sink had a little bit of blockage in the P-trap and it wasn't able to keep up with the amount of water coming out of the washer. If you run into a situation like this, you can pause the washer or even unplug it to stop the, the, the pump from pumping more water. In the next clip, I'll show you what it actually should look like. And the moral of the story is just make sure wherever you're draining the water to has adequate capacity to accept the water. So here are some specs of the little guy. It's not too big and it only weighs about 44 pounds so it's pretty easy to move around. Best part is the energy efficiency. It's off the charts efficient and low utilization. I mean come on three dollars for the entire year? That's awesome. Alright guys thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.